everyone, I'm Elsie Gamer, and welcome back to Flipping Death. In the last the video, the last piece of Death Scythe had finally been found, lodged in a human skull. The very same skull that was in the hands of none other than her terrifying doppelganger. Bad Penny was using it for all sorts of mischief, and as acting temp in the role of death, Penny knew it was her job to bring that scythe fragment back, and maybe, in the process, solve the mystery of why her body was running rampant throughout Flatwood Peaks in the first place. All Good she question. knew was that whoever, or whatever, was controlling her body, it desperately wanted one thing. A collection of bones kept somewhere on Earth. And those bones happened to turn up in the least convenient place possible. The back room of wacky affordable weirdness. Her boyfriend's father's store. Now, Elliot and his immediate family were in the crosshairs of whoever was controlling Penny's poor body. Luckily, Penny managed to save Elliot and his family from the clutches of her doppelganger. No, while at the same time managing to steal the skull with the shard of death scythe embedded within. But it came at a terrible cost. Elliot was lost to the clutches of some horrifying ghouls. And just as things couldn't get any worse, the skull Penny had been chasing began to speak. All right, time for another flashback. The story of my life and death begins like all great stories do. On Monday morning, many hundred years ago. I just hate Mondays. Much better. The old town already agreed on a name, sir. I love you, Regan. I love you, Harold! How do you feel about public displays of affection? Enthusiastic! What a coincidence! I feel the same way. Ow! So that's how you died. Of course. What? No, this was just a surface head wound. No big deal. Harold, Excuse me, that looks like a big Jeez. deal to me. You could have just told me you secretly didn't want to kiss. You didn't have to hit me right in the middle of the head. That wasn't me hitting you. That was a weird piece of metal beating you right between the eyes. You seem remarkably okay. Yes, I'm tough. I'm a burly young man. I'll just walk it off because I've absorbed ideas about masculinity that make me think I can't ever show any pain. Okay, have fun walking, sweetie. We'll catch up later. Actually, I was gonna so say maybe. then you died. You became disoriented from your head wound and fell off a cliff or something. What? Don't be so morbid. I just went for a stroll up to my studio in the woods where I keep all my sculptures. Art always makes me feel way more manly. Okay. Um, before I do that... I'm gonna finish what I was saying. I think he has very little brain in his head. That's why he didn't die. Go that way. And this way. What's to do? I got nowhere better to be than right here. Good. Can I do anything with this? Yes, yes I can. Hello. So now I'm controlling you? Yep. Just stick to the script, okay? I guess. Script? What script? You didn't give me a script? I have no script here. What a beautiful day to be alive. Actually, I don't have a script for any time whenever I do one of these recordings. So. Never thought to write one. This piece I call the talking block that you can look at when your friends are boring. It came to be in a dream. A phone. In the future, we'll all have a talking block that, as you may have guessed, you can look at when your friends are boring. Oh, it's gonna be great. It's a phone. What a beautiful a day to be alive. <laughs> this piece I call the glasses that show you another world, a virtual world, where you can shoot aliens or whatever. 
It's another vision I've had. I believe in the future you'll be able to wear weird unfashionable glasses that let you shoot weird imaginary aliens that don't exist. For fun, it won't be mandatory for at least another 50 years after they're invented. Uh -huh. And this piece I call the future. It's difficult and inscrutable, but also kind of fascinating. And the best part is the future is always just arriving. It's the um. future. Now! Now, now, now! Now it's the future. Uh, okay, now! Now! What am I looking That's easy. at? Art is... What a beautiful day to be alive. <sighs> Not really that easy. But then suddenly, as I was enjoying art, I was suddenly surrounded by a pack of wolves! Pack of wolves? I don't see any. This is the part where you go find some wolves. What? Huh? I huh? get surrounded by a pack of wolves here. So, if you want to hear how I die, we're gonna need some wolves. Oh! Oh, okay, right. Alright. Sure. I'll get you some wolves. Excuse me. Hey, how's it going? Oh, you know, just hanging out. Wow, you've been holding on to that for a while, huh? Hanging on to it, really. But nah, <laughs> this noose is no big deal. I was robbing people in the forest for years, so I totally had this coming. Okay. My only regret is that, due to my death, I had to leave my daughter Tina behind to be raised by wolves. Oh no, she's gone feral? What? No, <laughs> she's great. I tell you, those wolves make excellent parents. R Romulus and Remus had the right friggin' idea. No, my regret is that the wolf mom got trapped, so now my daughter's mother is in danger. Not on my watch! Okay. Where do you take me? I have nothing for any of you guys. So, let's just collect some. And... What are you? Not done yet. I still have one left. Got it. Huh. That wasn't so bad. Hello. Man against wolf! Man against wolf! Come see this sorry chicken leg thief in the fight of his life! against the most mythic and ferocious beast of them all. I regret nothing. I stole this chicken leg, yes, and I have a strange compulsion to lick it and wish it were flavored like chocolate, vanilla, or a rocky road, yes, but I do not regret Weird. what I did. Mm. Hey, there's a wolf. Yeah, she'd help with what we need. Bust her out so she can attack me. And then you'll die? Um, spoilers, I'm not giving away the ending. Thank you. Oh, oh. Ah, I don't Burk. like it. Time out. Time out. Huh. Let's talk about this reasonably. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Mm, can't get out that way. Let's go take a look at little Mommy makes her Tina. Hey there, little girl. Tina, not little girl. Tina, wolf. Tina, have blood of carnivore in her veins. I don't doubt it. Hey, you know what would be fun? Doing some stuff I suggest for a while. Tina consents. All right. Hey there. That's unusual. This doesn't taste like chocolate. This tastes like something else. I had no idea so much was happening behind the scenes in my own history. We're all the star of our own story, but there's all these supporting characters that make it possible. Harold, quiet! I'm trying to save a little feral girl. 
Your mind can be blown by the interconnectedness of the human experience later. I look forward to it. Come on. Move, coffin, move. No, well, maybe I can. This doesn't taste this like jump. chocolate. This tastes like salmonella. Alright, so that's a dead end. Can't believe you got through that. Nope, can't make that. How did you get through? Nah, who cares? Priest! Hi, I'm Penny and... Oh, finally! The Lord is speaking to me! Oh no, I'm not no, no, the no, Lord, no. I'm just... My Lord! I am at your service. My body is yours to control. Oh, okay. Okay. That's Thanks, actually I guess. perfect. Have you any directions for me to deliver to the world? Oh, Lord. Um, be excellent to each other? Ha! <laughs> can do! Yes, can do. Hi. How about you? Exactly. Are you? The cop I know from the future? Alack! Nay, I am a novel and legally distinct character, completely new in my originality. It's just you look a lot like a cop I know from the future. Thy art my inner voice, are There's they no not? No subtitles. I doth my inner voice. Are you? No, this he has no subtitles. Alas, I see no crimes to fight here. Tis I, Must only me. officer of the <laughs> law in this kingdom. Come on. Ooh. 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 Thing. Ooh. This doesn't move. I can't do anything in this level. <sighs> can't do anything in the level. That's bad. Thank you. He needs eight. Hey, I'm gonna take over your body for a bit. Are you my guardian angel? Because sure. Let me tell you, even if they force me to wrestle a wolf to the death, a conflict which I am all but guaranteed to lose almost instantly, hmm, it was all worth it. I'm, uh, here to help? Oh, that's perfect. Thank you. I knew there'd be no lasting consequences for my actions. <laughs> Yeah. Here, just give the chicken leg to the dog. Hey. There. Now the dog's your friend. Okay. So far, this has been a waste of time. Just figure out how to get through here and solve the problem of everything else. Sure. And you are. Hi there! Oh my gosh! The bread has started speaking to me! Actually, I'm. Wait, you know what? Yeah, let's go with bread. Yeah. You're stuck in the tower. I do really want to talk to them right now. Hey there! Yes, inner voice? Yeah, this is your brain speaking. I'm gonna control your body for a bit. Wait, what? Yeah. Well, guess I live over here now! Sure you do. Yeah. Have a pot. Yeah. Hey, look! Oh. The guy from the last, uh... Time we had a flashback is now a uh, dead. Greg, I think his name was. Alright. And uh teleport. 
jump. Oh, this is just for all. Excuse me. Leave me alone. Ow. Said leave me alone. Okay. an achievement for another level. If you take a look after completing most of the levels, there's one level which has six cards instead of five, and the only way to get that card is to chase him through time, because, well, he's a supervillain that you talked to in the previous uh, chapter? It's complicated. Hey, do you mind? The damn voice in my head? I am an artist. You may use my body as your canvas. No, that's... that's fine. That's I a little weird, I just want to for a bit. Sure. Attention world! Thank you. You have just experienced the jazz! You're welcome! No, though. Hmm. I want to go watch a Netflix series now. Oh, Horneo. Horneo! Wherefore art thou, Horneo? Huh? I was asking why you're named Horneo. Oh, it's a nickname. Because I play the horn. Oh. Bit disappointing. Yes. Gotta be me! Actually. Music is bearing me here. I thought it was what? another joke of some kind. Yeah. Oh well. All right, and you. I don't have the Find the ingredients: context, flowers, water, this. and meat. Well, I can get flour. Here's a song in a new genre I've invented. I call it J. <laughs> and I know where to get water. Use the priest for the holy water. Now, not in front of everyone. I'm not even going to ask what he was talking about. Come on, gonna move on. Quick around. He's not moving any faster. There's the water. Alright. Now I just gotta get back to these two. Yep. Uh, if I can't get this to move, I get to move backward, not forward. Hey, there we go. Come on, move, move. There, that's good enough. Use those chompers. You know, put some sprinkles on this and it wouldn't be half bad. Chicken with sprinkles? That's just weird. Really weird. And... There. Now to dig... A little further. You know, 
well, put some sprinkles on this and it wouldn't be half bad. On the stair. Gotcha. Alright. I'm not afraid him. of death. I'm only afraid of the beautiful idea of frozen or iced cream that's been floating around at the edges of my consciousness. Okay. Almost there. A little further. And I ain't afraid of no bloodthirsty murderous wolf. Wait. No, I am. There. Now to take care of the last challenge, which involves the wolf. Okay. Hey, I'm busting you out. Wolf like lady voice in head. Thanks, I like you too. Wolf accept compliment graciously. You're welcome. This public wolf display of violence has backfired in a way that could never have been predicted. Come on. I need to get Penny to get the wolf out of here. With teeth. You're gonna save mommy with teeth. Go ahead. What is going on? What is this? No, Did no. I say I got surrounded by a pack of wolf? No. No, I didn't. A pack of wolves. Plural. Get more wolves! This is the strangest storytelling experience I've ever had. Go get more yes, wolves yes, to murder me with! I must cut them all. There we go. Mama Wolf. There's a song in the right. genre I've invented. So I need to take care of getting a pack of wolves to surround our uh, Stupid woodsman. What is going on? All right, Tina. Come on. I suppose that is technically more than one wolf. Okay, fine. I'll let this slide. Thank you. Round it up to a pack. I. Appreciate that? You're welcome. Now, where was I? Ah, yes. I was looking at art in the woods when suddenly I was surrounded by a pack of wolves! I'm missing something oh, here. Oh, yes. This is so much better. Stay back from me, pack of wolves! Shoo! I'm not going to die today! And then you died? And then they jumped at me, tearing my flesh to ribbons. And... Nah. Wait. N no, that's not how it went. Hold on. It's been a while since I've told this story. Apparently. Let me remember. Ah, mm. yes. Sorry. And then the cup stole my axe, spinning it around her head like a helicopter, cutting me to shreds. And... Wait. No, that that's not it either. Listen, I know something tore my head off. It's broad, manly shoulders, but I can't remember what. Are you serious right now? Ooh, a cliffhanger! What Please killed no. Harold? Let's watch to find out! I know it wasn't wolves! Oh, that's, that's sad. And Harold can't remember. I know something that might be able to help.
So, Squire, have you heard tell of any monsters in need of heroic slaying in this pitiful village? Maybe. Uh, sir, we've only just arrived, and it takes time to... <laughs> my ears are tired of thy excuses. I am a traveling hero, and be my faithful squire. And if we are to make a name for ourselves, I require thee to find me monsters in need of slaying. You want a monster? <laughs> Take my ex-wife. Please, she's right over there. Saints preserve us. You, gentlemen, have married poorly. I mean, I wouldn't say that, but we did break up. I pray thee not a word more. I have spotted the monster, and now I shall relieve you of its burden. Wait, you're, you're not gonna kill her, are you? Silence, sir. Allow me to attack and slay your one-time lady love. That windmill you apparently made! Huzzah! <sighs> could have apprenticed a competent knight with great listening skills, but no. No. He, uh, is apparently, uh, Don Quixote. For glory! For glory, he says. I say, he's an idiot. A weak point! Go for the budgets! Ham gives my bread. What? What's the big day? Waking me up? I was having the most wonderful dream, and I would have enjoyed staying there longer. No, no. Oh, no. Ah. I don't care about you guys. Get out of my way. I'm running away from a giant windmill. Little hand here. Thank you. Okay, so that sets up almost everything. But since it's a windmill, if I can be the food of love, watch out. Let's uh make this thing go a little faster. There you go. Now, time for you to run along. Ow, ow! I'm not at all certain this is survivable, actually! And that's how I died. The hmm. end. I can't help but feel that there was a lot of detail in that story that could have been cut. Yes. Like you could have said, got head cut off by windmill. Takes five seconds. Tops. But then you wouldn't have known the full backstory of the wolves dragging my various body parts away. See? And eating them. I appeared as a ghost on the other side, but the strange thing was, I was just ahead! Hey, where am I? And where's the rest of my manly body? Hey, I spent a lot of time on that stupid thing! Well, that's a problem. Anyway, I think I'll leave it here for now. I'll pick this up in the final chapter in the next video. So until then, see you guys.